2K19 today is another 20th anniversary cover athlete kind of day and boy did they drop well actually it happens pretty much early every 2K now but yeah here he is the corn row headband wearing sleeve wearing boom ain't got no time for practice Allen Iverson 97 overall pink diamond now it looks very very cool I don't know about the 2K cover athlete background it's not like my favorite but still looks cool 99.99 Wow, might as well be a Galaxy Opal, am I right? He is looking very good. Six Hall of Fame badges. He's got Pick and Roll Maestro, Ankle Breaker, Relentless Finisher, Acrobat, Difficult Shots, Tireless Score, along with 10 other gold badges. One Man Fast Break, Catch and Shoot, Pick Pocket, Pick Dodger, Charge Card, Gear Dropper, Lob City Passer, Mid Range Jedi, Flashy Passer, Break Starter. Now he is only six foot. We're going to talk about his size here in a second. So we'll go over to the stats, 98 across the board for layup. He's got a 97 draw foul, 97s all the way across the board for the mid-range, 90s all across the board for the three-pointer. I like that a lot. He's got no dunking whatsoever, but he does have an excellent passing vision, ball control. He's got a 96 steal. That's going to come in handy. He's got just amazing speed, 98s across the board. This card is looking very, very good. I'm not going to lie. I'm actually kind of excited. The defensive consistency of a 91. He's got offensive consistency of 98. 88 on ball. Very, very good, especially for an Allen Iverson. Uh, reaction time and 98. Now the big question. The big what it, you know, the big, the big rumor and the big, you know, big, Ah, kind of moment with this guard is his size. Six foot. Oh, my God, guys. What has 2K18 done to you? It has scarred you. It has left a permanent indent on your brain that small point guards can no longer be used in 2K when, in fact, Allen Iverson has been a card that has been able to be used in every 2K. Now, he's not always preference because of his size. I mean, still, that always plays a factor in every game, but he was usable in every 2K minus last year due to the blow by animation was overpowered all small all small point guards took a hit last year that's why nobody used any traditional point guards this year is a different story they've reinforced defense and he's got plenty of it so he's not really going to be that big of a liability that bad unless we run into a situational cause like a Giannis, a lebron something of that nature he should still be able to lock up but as far as layup like getting layup on and dunked on that still could happen i even had another youtuber won't say his name but go as far as to say, well, what if they're playing Giannis off ball? He'd be locked up. Well, no duh. I mean, I'm not saying he's going to do great against a point guard like that. But that's why you have him out there and you'll have a situational point guard on your third string in case something like that should arise. Now, he's not great for every situation, but most people aren't running Giannis at point guard this year. I've only ran into it a couple times. And guess what? They didn't do very much with him because Giannis can't shoot. And it's not really a layup dunk kind of year. I don't get too many dunks and layups this year anyways. So he's really kind of useless at point guard. Therefore, I don't run into him. Therefore, that situation has never, ever even happened to me where I've had a Giannis off ball at point guard on any of my point guards as of yet. So it's a very, very unlikely situation. But if that should have happened, I have an extra point guard on the bench that's taller, that bigger, that can handle that situation. Now that we got that size out of the way, is it still a factor? We have one way to find out. Let's get some gameplay. All right, it looks like we found an opponent. He's got a decent team. He's got the new Jerry Stackhouse and Julius Irving that came out today. He's got Kyrie Irving, Chris Asperzingas, and Carl Towns. Kyrie Irving on Allen Iverson. See, I'm not running into those big point guards anymore. It shouldn't be too big of a problem. But we're going to find out the answer. We'll see if he's got him. And here we go. All right here we go. We got Pink Diamond Allen Iverson on one of the ugliest courts. Take these damn colored courts out of the game, 2K. Let's see how this Iverson does. All right, we're going to tip it right back over to Allen Iverson. Let's see. Oh, he's got Hall of Fame ankle breaker right away. We're going up. Oh, ooh, ooh, ooh. Got good passing here. We're going to go right over to Clay Thompson. Clay Thompson coming around. See if we can get a pick and roll here. See if maybe we can get this nice little die. Oh, yeah. He's paying way too much attention to Iverson. We got other players, buddy. We'll assist it all day. Give me that steal. Look at Allen Iverson. 96 steal. Oh. Iverson who's sneaking in there, man. Allen Iverson. Let's see if he's got that post fade. I didn't really check, but whoa. Oh, green bean. AI. He's got the post fade. So fancy pass over to Clay Thompson. Back out to AI. Little jumper. Good shot. Oh, man. Right over all the contact. Give me that steal. Look at this steal. 96 steal. He's a freaking glitch. Get out of here. 
Get the freak out of here. Let's go. Carmelo Anthony. Bang. He missed it. All right, we're going to go this way. Moving shots. He's got him. Of course he does. Get in the bench. But, oh, don't give me the range. What are you doing? What are you doing? We're on fire. The answer. He's got them all. Give me that steal. Look at the 96 steal. It's so overpowered. Am I time? A sneak peek of how that gameplay goes with J.R. Smith. You guys remember J.R. Swishy. Oh, he gave me the room. And that's a big mistake, sir. God, it's not. You can play post. Couldn't play post last year. You couldn't run size. Uh, left. Do we have enough time for a bucket? J.R. Swish, do you got the Henny in ya? Of course you do. Oh, my God. All right, start of the second quarter, dude. AI is freaking glitchy. That 96 steal really does work tremendously. And he's also shooting very well. I'm impressed. I'm telling you, size is not a matter this year. Just get in there. 98 layups, and he gets his own rebound. No worries, but we'll do another moving shot. Easy peasy, baby. Jumping, coming all the way around. Ooh, do we try the post fade again? Another post fade. Yeah, that one didn't work. All right, let's go. We're falling behind a little bit here. So AI is coming in. Oh, baby, he is fast. He is fast. Look at, oh, my. Is that a goal 10? No? Okay, just block. All right, let's see how this free throw is. Easy. Oh, oh, shoot. It's easy, but it's got a weird hitch. I wasn't ready for it. There we go. Now it's easy. Rebound there will throw right up to Allen Iverson. Allen Iverson with a good pass. Look, did you see the no looker? Did you <laughs> He's pulling a Magic Johnson. But Rashard Lewis, you gotta give it. Okay. No, man. Oh, yeah. Back out to JR. JR's gonna do a moving three. I l okay. Not like that. Oh, my God. This freaking size is too much. Oh, Rashard Lewis. Oh, back into Grand Hill. Grand Hill. Oh, oh get postered. Let's move it. Let's move it. I'll throw it up to JR. Switch. JR. Switch off the dribble. I like it. I love it. No, I don't love it. Get guard. Right back out to JR. Smith. JR. Smith is gonna keep running. He stops. I was always expecting. J.R. Smith, bro, if you don't start making something. Allen Iverson running down. Oh, stop it. Pop it. Put it in our pocket. Allen Iverson. Size has no matter. But it's not going to work. It's not going to work. He's trying to off-ball me now. It's not going to work. Little AI's got too much heart. He's got the passing. Oh, it's such a beautiful thing. It's still there. But Clay Thompson, that's what I'm talking about. AI going in. Moving shot. No matter. Bang! All right, let's go to one AI. Ah, I guess updated halftime. Allen Iverson, 20 points, two rebounds, three assists, two steals, eight of 15, two of six. We're not shooting the best right now, and that two of six really should only be two of five because I chucked up that full quarter at the end, which hurt my stats. Should probably shouldn't have done that, but size has no matter in this game. He's six foot and he has two rebounds. Explain that, friends. But. He's got a killer game going so far. Probably the best gameplay at the half up to this point. Let's see what he's got in the second half. All right, start of the third quarter. We're just going to keep Iverson in, man. I really want to see what this card can do. I'm going to stretch the distance on him. We'll give him a good break in the third quarter. And then he'll show up again at the end of the fourth for a big encore. Let's go. Let's go. We're going to throw it right up to Anthony Davis. If he's going to press us, that's what will happen. Oh, throw the alley-oop. There we go. Big guy. That is what the f there we'll throw right up to Allen Iverson I see Melo in the corner not look at the passing that is precision I'm throwing up to Anthony Davis out to Allen Iverson oh nice pass <laughs> did you see that pass he shot it but he thought he was gonna shoot it went up for uh beautiful Let's see if we can get AI going AI in oh easy peasy AI I'm telling you man he's too good in the bench as I said I would pretty early just so we can give Iverson enough time to relax I don't know if this guy's gonna stick around that long but if he does AI will be ready. It's not explaining why there, but we can try a moving three here that will explain. No, it won't. Hey, look. Oh, okay, JR. Okay, no. Hey, hey, hey. I'm there. Where are we looking? Where are we looking? Oh, we might just go all the way with Grant Hill. Might as well. All right, back out to Lou. Lou, that's an easy really. Easy. Are we done here, Rube? Let's finish it off, huh? That's what I thought. Well, <laughs> I had a feeling that was going to happen. That's why we... I did play to at AI at the start, but you definitely put up some decent stats. I'll make sure I put them on the main menu screen while we talk it out. Let's go talk it out. All right, guys, that is going to be the gameplay. Shout out to my opponent. I am going to have the last of the stats that AI had right below the card so you guys can see what he ended up with. It won't show everything, but it'll show what you need to see. It'll show you the meat and potatoes of what you want to see of the gameplay. But, guys, this card is really, really good. 
I like this card. Now, granted, will he be your point guard all year? Probably not, because there are better point guards that come out that a lot of people like to use, such as Magic Johnson, uh, Tracy McGrady, a lot of people run that point. LeBron James will be a good point guard. I mean, people just like to run taller point guards. But right now, at this stage in the game, is he a fire point guard? I mean, hell, when we get a pink diamond Steph Curry, that'll probably replace this card. Because this card, granted, is still six foot. So it does put you at a little bit of a disadvantage when you drive into the lane. But he's got a fire draw foul. So he'll get those a lot of the time. So on a 1 to 10, I am going to give this card a 9.5. And, and I give it a 9.5 due to the fact that he's got really, really good stats. And that 96 steal does work. It works very well, as a matter of fact. Very, very well. And I like his shot release. He's got a good three ball. I like, I mean, granted he could have a couple more Hall of Fame badges, but we are at the start of the year, so really can't be expecting too much more than six. It's kind of what we started out last year. But guys, I really, really like this card. Let's talk price, though, because this card kind of is going to have a different value this year than it would last year. Last year, we didn't really have anything to collect these pink diamonds for. We're now pink diamonds going to a set towards Gal Galaxy Opal Chris Paul. So it's going to make things a little bit different. This card's not really going to decrease that much in value as people try to collect all these cover cards to get that Galaxy Opal Chris Paul. So I would probably pick this card up if you can find it. Will it get this low? I don't know. Uh, I'd probably say about 170 to 220 is probably where you want to pick this card up. Any bit, any bit higher than that might be a little too much for what you want out of that Galaxy Chris Paul. Other than that, I like this card. So 170, 220, nine and a half is probably what you're going to see. Guys, if you like this video, they did put out a fire diamond Andre Iguodala card that I'm actually itching to try. I didn't want to fill them all. I think Peak Diamonds kind of deserve their own video, but I think Andre Iguodala is hype beasty enough that I think you guys want to see that. So if you do, give this video to 300 likes. If you like this video, give the video a thumbs up. 300 if you want to see Diamond Iguodala gameplay. And, hey, if you're new, give the channel a chance. Hit the subscribe button. Check out a couple videos. You might like what you see. If you don't, then still say subscribe. Just, you know, you don't have to watch the video. Yeah, I, I don't. I'm just kidding. But, yeah, if you're new, hit the subscribe button. And Richie Nation, already on.